is a free banana breaking the steam market? Honestly, I have no idea. Why would a banana do this? Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to talk about banana. Yes. Now, if you haven't heard of banana, don't worry. It's totally normal not to have ever heard about a game that is currently the I've heard about it. <laughs> game on Steam at this moment in time. Yes. How? Like no audio? Fuck! Fuck! Yeah, I, I made it louder. I forgot. That was my bad. I forgot to uh, turn it up. That was my bad. That was my bad. That was my bad! Okay, chill! Chill, guys! <laughs> chill! I realized that. I realized it's- so Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to- <laughs> Okay. 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 Oh, money. Are you okay? Money? Money's just lying under my desk. She's looking sad, but I don't think she's sad. <sighs> okay. Let's go! Why is the free banana breaking the steam market? Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to talk about banana. Now, if you haven't heard of banana, don't worry. It's totally normal not to have ever heard about a game that is currently the fifth highest played game on Steam at Isn't this moment in time. Yes. <laughs> Isn't it literally just the cookie clicker? That's right, 150,000 people are currently playing Banana. But how Stop. come you've never heard of this game? After all, it released back in April to only 16 people playing it. My oh my, has it come a long way. But what is this game and why are hundreds of thousands of people playing it? It's quite simply a free-to-play game where you click a banana. In banana, you click the banana to gain even more bananas. Yay! It really is as simple as that. And yet with this Should simple play gameplay this? loop, it has achieved a 91% positive review score on Steam. This is- So 9% of the people rated this negatively. Why? incredibly high. This is such a high rating that it's you actually need to a with this? I got you. Grand Theft Auto 5. So why is this game about clicking a banana so darn incredible mm. that it's captured the hearts and imaginations of 150,000 people? Is it actually a hidden gem? Is it a dodgy scam? Or is mm. there something even more dubious at work? Well, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, throw a like on the video and get yourself a warm cup of tea because this is going to be very special. The game Banana is absolutely incredible. Incredible. It has one achievement called Click, which 83% of people have. In order to gain this achievement, all you have to do is launch the game, which launches like so. Of course, it's made with Unity, everyone's favorite free oh, game gross. software. And then once that. it's launched, you can quite simply click the banana. And just I like. Rewind. I don't know why it froze it for you guys. It has one achievement called Click, which 83% of people have. In order to gain this achievement, all you have to do is launch the game, which launches like so. Of course, it's made with Unity, everyone's course, favorite free game course. software. And then once it's launched, you can quite simply click the banana. And just like that, you have yourself a banana. Now, I have an auto clicker, so I can click this quite a lot. And I end up with, oh my goodness, have you seen that? 100 bananas. Nice. Truly amazing. Now, this game banana does have a few additionals. I can press this button button here called mm -hmm. shop and this opens up a shop in this shop i can buy <gasps> banana items Yo, incredible uh, this money goes directly to the developer of this game who we should probably talk about whilst i click on this banana this game is created by aladdin 66 aladdin 66 has made two games one of which is called las ishleden which roughly translates to let me slide now if you haven't played this yeah, game don't Why worry was it in it's German? absolutely incredible <laughs> also achieving an 88 percent positive review score this game was released back in February and That's it features sliding? grounds and unity assets that you can probably find for free. On this game, you embark yes, on an extraordinary German. journey into the boundless realm of, of Lassish. Like, Lassish is... Brain literally going... <laughs> Lassish basically is... I'm letting... Like, Lasse Sliden basically is 
letting it slide. Yeah, letting it slide. That That's basically the translation. God, I'm stupid. Cleden, an open world game that promises to redefine the genre. You get to immerse yourself in not only an expansive universe, but it's also brimming with endless possibilities and exhilarating quests. Now that's a good sales pitch. This follow. guy should work for Bethesda. But the special thing about this game is, yes, it is using stock assets. Yes, it looks like it was whipped up in about 20 minutes. But what it does have is a lot yeah, of effort and dedication. Have? And that effort and dedication went into the 100 achievements that this game wow, has. What? All of these achievements are incredibly easy to get. Pressing the B key will award you with four separate achievements. What the now that's why? pretty incredible, isn't it? So press yes, four, people can nine. buy this game for 89p and get hundreds of achievements very easily flooded onto their account to make you look like a pro gamer on Steam. <laughs> and that's definitely one way to sell a game, but it doesn't make much money. Not until you see that you can sell items for this game. That's right, you can buy this thing that I'm sure he has the legal rights to and all of these other things that I'm sure he has the legal rights to. Like the incredible When You Start Edging, which you can buy for 79p. Once bought, you can sell it on the community market for 85p. Let's see if anyone's Why? purchased one of these bad boys. Uh, nope, no one has ever purchased one of these in the entire history of Steam. Okay, well, there Heavenly no Lassish Leiden didn't do quite so well. But Banana has there done no incredibly songs, well, which you can buy for 20p and you can sell on the I community market. This. Starting at 26p. Well, How no very reason. curious. I find this whole situation rather interesting. Why is this item that I can buy for just 19p on Steam selling on the community market for 26p? I mean, look, it is actually getting sold. Not very often, but it is Wait, getting is sold. Weird. I can buy it <laughs> yeah, right why? now and sell it for 23p. This uh, is ever so slightly madness. But Banana Mania is here to stay. Because as you might have noticed, this entire game exists for one sole purpose. And that is making money. You see, on Steam, when an item is bought and sold on the marketplace or an item is bought directly for the game, the game's developer makes that money. In our case, uh, the wonderful Aladdin 66, a yeah. visionary game designer who promises to provide more than any other game developer ever has, bonus trees. But the main effort of this game did not go into its incredible gameplay loop, because it's already perfect. There's a banana and you click yeah. on it and a number goes up. Truly really amazing. No, no, the effort of this game actually went to the most important section, the Steam Marketplace. And you'll be able to find everything. I the see banana, banana market Yo. is immense. There are nearly eight full pages <laughs> of deep banana lore. That's one at Some 17, things are definitely starting at 17. Slightly, dubious, but Wait, the idea there was is one starting at 200? Right there? What? Cryptic Nana? Why so expensive? Some of things are definitely slightly legally dubious, but the idea is very simple. Bro, As you play the game, Steam has an automatic drop system. Similar I'm to like when you play ethics. CSGO Hi. and after a couple matches you get yourself a free crate, like maybe a very cheap skin. <laughs> this item drops in game and it is the most common item. It drops so often in fact that there are over 700,000 bananas currently listed on the Steam marketplace. This is insane. But above the regular banana comes some slightly more advanced bananas like the Icy Nana. The Icy Nana is special because it doesn't drop anymore. Wow. So logically, Ooh. by it not dropping anymore, that actually increases the value of the product. Because there's This would imply that it dropped before though. But if it didn't drop before, could we sue him? Could we sue him by proving it never dropped before? Best key to doxing my scams, I mean money making opportunities. It's not me doxing it, it's the spiffing bread. I am just observing and drinking the tea you see the tea blah, blah, blah. Scarcity. However, no one has managed to sell an icy banana for more than three pence on the Steam market, which is very curious indeed. It also raises the question, why are people buying the bananas? And the reasoning is very simple. Why now, the not? following concept might sound rather confusing to That's anyone why. who has a brain why cell, not? but the reason people are buying these bananas is called FOMO. Basically, all of the items in this game are pure market speculation. The idea is that these bananas have varying levels of rarity, and the rarer a banana is, the less likely it is to be added into the supply, and items that aren't very often added into the supply are probably worth more. Take this diamond banana here. It has a 1 in 100,000 drop chance. That's pretty darn good. I need to know, do these items actually drop in the game though? Do these items actually drop in the game? Can you receive this in the game, like, as one of those uh, Steam trading cards or what? Because if not, it would be a scam. If it can't drop, it's a scam. It does drop? 
It does drop some of them. Okay. Then it is money making. And mm -hmm, oh my, mm -hmm. what a rare banana indeed. One in a hundred thousand. So this, this is this is exactly for the people that don't want to miss out on the fucking Ari skin and are actually buying the Ari skin. It's for those fucking people that have way too much money for their own good and have hey, way too much FOMO for their own good. It's those people that are ruining everyone's lives. <laughs> Really not that many of them. As you can see, there's only three available on the Steam Marketplace right now. Two for around about £100, and then one for £520. To put that into a real-world price point perspective, £520 is almost £70 more expensive than a brand new Pixel 8a smartphone. Yes, that's right, someone what? thinks they can sell this banana for £500. Is there a real-world value to this diamond banana? Nope. Yes, technically. The entire real-world value to this banana is speculation. The only reason you would buy this so, banana no. is because you believe that the price of the banana will go up in future and someone will buy the banana. This so creates really a crypto. very special bag oh my God, situation, it's literally whereby crypto. if I were to buy this banana, I am hoping that someone else will come along it's and pick up my crypto. banana or my bag and buy it off of me for a higher price. No. Therefore, I have passed on the bag. Of no. course, if this person were to open up the bag, they will see inside that all they have is a useless diamond banana. However, the only reason they have to buy the bag off of me is because they believe they can pass the bag right, on to crypto, someone else NFTs. for an even higher price. If this Same all shit, familiar, I don't know. It's because it's I don't know anymore. the entire cryptocurrency boom over COVID. Now, all of no, this price crypto. nonsense okay. gets a little bit crazy when you start going to the top end of this game. Skin you have the away. Banana. This is a very special <sighs> banana because it has deliberately implied scarcity. The cryptic nana was only given out during the cryptic nana event and there are only 25 in existence. And when you look at that, four of them are available on the marketplace. A few of them have sold for very low levels, around about £20 when the game first came out, but now they've steadily started climbing up until people recently have started buying them for 300 fucking pounds. <laughs> Excuse my language, but this is madness. The only reason this to buy is this madness. is because there are allegedly only 25 in existence. Oh. Holy shit. Holy shit, I'm... <laughs> it's... It's kind of ingenious. It's kind of ingenious, though. He's... The dude is exploiting a market of people that are f too fucking stupid. Uh, to be trusted with their own money, man. So, are we really gonna fault the guy or are we gonna fault the uh, people that have too much money and too little brain cells? I mean, uh, of course, we shouldn't, we shouldn't be victim blaming, but you know, you know, some people. I, it's really just fucking stupid. Which makes it very special indeed. Oh, there's only 25 yeah, of them. Both. You can own it is, one. It, it is both. You guys, you guys are right. It is definitely both. But... There's no but, it's just both. <laughs> now I'm all for entertainingly priced speculative secondary markets. After all, I myself own several rare Magic the Gathering cards. The only difference is I can use my Magic the Gathering cards to bully noobs, whereas I can't use a diamond banana for anything other than flexing my EP online and showing that yes, I was stupid enough to buy a diamond banana. And eventually we reach a point where we have the special golden banana. This is a special item, apparently, whatever special that means, and it drops banana. in game. What is special about this? I don't know, but someone tried it's to sell special. it for 1,120. £24 and has now upped the price for 1400 This item has never sold in the entire history of this game, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the person selling this item is the developer themselves. So yes, Actually, why on earth are people man. playing this banana-based game? Well, it's rather simple. If you, like me, are based in the UK or the US, you might see this speculative banana game where you could wait to get a rare banana that potentially you could sell for four pence on the marketplace. You could see that to be quite a special thing indeed. After all, there's the Graffinana here. It's a simple graffiti banana, but hey, it's special because it doesn't drop anymore, meaning it's got a finite no! supply. That means that, well, people want to buy it. And there are 1,300 people willing to pay three pence to buy this bloody banana. Now, here's the thing. When you sell something for free P on the Steam market, Steam, of course, this takes the crazy, cut. And I would make one pence from selling this for free P. Now, one P might not seem like much because, hey, in the UK, we have a strong pound, or at least we do for the next 10 minutes. And so one pence isn't exactly a lot of purchasing power. But if, perchance, you're located in one of the many other countries in the <laughs> world we once upon a time invaded then there's a good time to play the banana game that ari skin looking more affordable now <laughs> it do be looking a little bit more affordable now more affordable by exactly three cents because 
Born at 97, uh, at 97 are still missing. Good chance that making one pence off the Steam Marketplace is actually worth something, and potentially goes quite a long way to buying a new game. And for the person buying this skin for free P, well they're banking off the fact that because this item doesn't drop anymore, it will steadily increase in price over time. The only problem is, this item has very low usability. But that doesn't really solve that the question, matter. why on earth are people playing this? That well doesn't fucking matter, people bought fucking NFTs for no fucking reason it's the same thing it's just nfts this is it's not even crypto this is this is fucking this is an, an, an nft well, it's without, very simple this game without that being tagged as nft it's very easily automated and it doesn't really take up any processes on your computer it just runs in the background and it's all about watching a number go up hardly the most elaborative or exciting game in the universe it's free, it's simple, and it can be marketed as free and easy money. This craze happened quite a lot during the NFT game era, whereby a lot of these so-called free games would exist, um, where I'm you so could play smart. them, and you'd get a chance of getting a free NFT. And this free NFT would have a supposed value assigned to it. The problem is, in order to get value out of that free NFT, you would have to be able to sell it. And when you've started handing out Aww, items for David. free, well, they don't really have much value. This game does have a slight advantage by- I really do wonder what kind of fucking people actually fucking bought NFTs, man that actually swore in NFTs. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I wanna... Oh my god, did you all see that clip? I think I watched it live on Esmond's stream where... the police officer came into the store, like a police officer was called into a store by, I think, a store owner or something where an old lady was on the phone with fucking scammers and she was about to deposit fucking 40k or something in crypto scam for a crypto scam and the police officer went there in time and saved her ass holy shit bro that fucking guy on the phone line constantly saying give me back the customer let me speak to the customer like bruh Bro, the poor lady. She she said to the police officer, "I need to the, I need to deposit this money. I am in danger." Like, what do you mean? These people, they literally hunt for those poor old, like a sweet retired people. They don't just. They just don't know better. That is, and they don't feel any remorse. I, I, oh my god, I hate that so much. I hate that so much, man. Getting supposed rare. I'm, 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 I'm so happy that the store owner called the police officer in time for that jail. To be honest, they, they operate from outside the country. Anyway, most of them are based on fucking India and I think Pakistan as well, I believe. So, you, you can't even jail them. ...and having the rarity be slightly more challenging. For example, they've added now an anti-bot idling prevention, whereby you need to click once every three hours to get a drop, or once every 18 hours for the rare drop. That's what right, you need to leave this game open for about 18 hours what in order fuck? to secure yourself the chance of a rare drop. This brings us back to the reason why there are so many Real people banana! playing this game. There are 153,000 people playing Banana right now, but they're not really playing it. They leave it open they're in the background, and once it, every 18 hours they go to their computer and they click the banana. It truly is an absolute <laughs> incredible social experiment. This is a oh real-world human version of putting mice in a cage and having them push a button to receive a reward. We are simply no. mice, we push the banana, and there is an eventual promise of us getting an actual item. So I'm going to leave this game running, and I guess we're going to find out what wonderful item oh the banana God. overlords bestow upon me today. Now, whilst I've been waiting for my wonderful banana to arrive, <laughs> I think it's important to say that I've done some digging. Oh the God, individual this running this game is quite unique indeed. We have, of course, established that they are German. <laughs> uh, how However, <laughs> what we should probably also establish is that they are potentially a relatively yeah, unique type of German. Now, I'm not just saying this because they have over a thousand hours on Hearts of Iron 4. I mean, come on, who doesn't? I'm mostly saying because this person has a potentially dubious profile uh, that maybe leans towards a certain extremist direction, potentially because their previous <laughs> usernames include such wonderful things as uh, deportation wait, wait, wait. creates... <laughs> Abschieben schafft Wohnraum! <laughs> yeah, like, as he says, the Deportation creates living space. What the? 
Living space. Yep. Uh, it's one of those. So, yes, whilst you can wait, play wait, wait, the wait, living wait, wait. space. I need to, yep. I need to, to such... hover over this. What else? Robert Pottison, Free Boris. <laughs> Anti communist action. Kevin Russell. Uh, that's a dollar sign. Oh, ho. Barney, now I did abschieben. Schaff, Wurnam. Nie wieder Österreich. That one just translates to never, uh, never doing Austrian vacation again. Like what? Nikolaus Alexandrovich Romano? No idea. No idea what that. Fette Frauen haltet Abstand. That translates to fat women stay away. That was his first name here, or at least the last name that was before that. <laughs> Wonderful things as uh, deportation creates living space. Yep, uh, it's one of those. So yes, whilst you can play the banana game and you can sell the bananas <laughs> on the Steam fuck? Marketplace, which does make Steam quite a lot of money, it will also make this developer quite a lot of money, which is potentially uh, good because, hey, they'll be able to buy more Hearts of Iron 4 DLC. And Lord knows that Paradox Interactive needs all the DLC money they can get. Now, of course, Ooh. as I was saying, the main reason you hypothetically buy the bananas off of the Steam Marketplace is because you believe it will change the appearance of your banana. Now, the problem is the banana changing functionality doesn't exist in the game yet. No, this is actually relatively early access, you see. Although it doesn't say so on Steam. What this basically means well. is currently when you buy an item off of this game store or off of the marketplace, it just sits in your Steam inventory. It has absolutely no use. It can't even be used in game. The dev yeah. has said that they will add this functionality into the game and what value this point. functionality will add or cause to the value of the banana market, I do not know. After all, we are just clicking a PNG. But you don't even have to click the PNG. I can literally click off the end of the banana and it still kind of counts because they've just used a giant square hitbox so yeah unity coding 101 this game <laughs> is most definitely yes a scam is the developer at fault for this scam game becoming so popular no not at all these scam games exist all over steam it's hardly the developer's fault that for some reason a hundred thousand people are playing it games like this largely exist on steam for one very simple reason they Make exist money. to add a large amount of <laughs> achievements or items to a steam account this can be used to artificially inflate the value of the Steam account or just secure that precious experience oh. to level up your Steam account and make I was wondering why why would people want to hunt for achievements? Like just for achievement completion's sake? But okay, I, I guess if you really want to increase your Steam level. I always wondered how it would like I always wondered how does one increase your Steam level, but I guess now I know with Steam achievements. I, I actually never knew, huh? Yeah, I'm stupid. What about it? It look more fancy. The fact that the marketplace has exploded in Banana Mania is just an entertaining secondary event, which potentially this game's developers and friends are able to use and exploit to generate as many Steam wallet funds as they can humanly enjoy. Now, one of the reasons that makes me a little bit more concerned that this is a scam is because most of my games was hard work to get achievements on a minus. My vision notes button showed that I realized one of it. Do you get extra points for 100%ing? Like, do you get extra experience for 100%ing a game for your level? Oh my god, the guy is level 164. What the fuck? Achievements completing Steam card sets, some older Steam events rewarded a shit ton of XP. Is that what Steam card sets are for? Because I never understood that one either the creator of this game has set their inventory to private when it was previously public. Uh, this is a little bit of a problem because it means that it is impossible to see how many bananas hitting the marketplace are actually from them, meaning it's very hard to tell just how much well, Steam wait, wait, wait. There was some more German. There's some German down, down, down here. Official banana, Spielbank Germany, Osnabrück. Osnabrück. I've seen that name on the card before. Nothing important though. Hollywood dreaming. Bananas eh, hitting the eh, marketplace eh. are actually from them, meaning it's very hard to tell just how much Steam wallet value they're able to make off of this game. Day two. 
Ooh. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is the following day, and I have left the banana welcome game back. running overnight, generating mm -hmm. wealth beyond your wildest imaginations. That's right, with the drop system set up, I was guaranteed to make a huge amount of money. And so, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I can reveal that after around about 10 hours of gameplay, I have generated some bananas. Also, this game doesn't have a save feature, which means whenever you open and close the game, it completely resets the number which no! kind of defeats the purpose of this game, but what oh well. Uh, anyway, yes, these majestic bananas are doo -doo 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 all commons. Yep, here they are. We Unlucky. have two music nanas, a neo nana, and a panda nana. I like wow, that one. very exciting. I do like this one. Now of course, luckily, this game's incredibly large Chinese player base is buying up the panda bananas at quite an impressive rate. The only problem is still 94,000 of them on the Steam marketplace. So even though a lot wow. of them are selling per day, they are getting listed at a much higher rate than they're getting purchased for. And the same goes for every other banana in this game, because of course, that's just how it works. Now I can try and sell this Neo Nana of mine. The only problem is the people who've listed their Neo Nana ahead of me have to wait for 5,550 of these bananas to be sold or mine even gets onto the market and literally as I'm talking seven more have been added oh, no one the is buying these bananas crash anymore the market. Oh, and way more have just been added as well I think people are starting to work out Put that it on there's two. probably no reason to buy the bananas and so the supply of them is massively increasing it would appear that the amount of bananas that have dropped down to three pence has massively increased actually yes I think potentially we could be on the precipice of some kind of economic situation but who knows ladies and gentlemen this is a game all about being randomly dropped bananas and hoping that you can speculate on a market. The only problem is you have absolutely no control over the supply. So the only people who will buy your bananas are people getting scammed into buying them, or if you're following the same exploit as my wonderful cucumber adventure, glorious Terry bots Blossom who try Rana. and trade off of the Steam Marketplace. But I mean, this game is so well developed that it's accidentally ended up with duplicate bananas. Look, you can have the pandanana here or the pandanana there. Does it make oh. sense? No, no, it doesn't. But here we are. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I reckon this game will probably stick around for a few more weeks until eventually people realize that the electricity you spend running this game ultimately costs far more than you'll ever actually make <laughs> off of selling bananas. But then again, what do I know? Maybe the developer of the wonderful Lashish Schlieden will somehow pull it out the bag and on their second game add an incredible quantity of gameplay features that makes the banana a tangible item that you would want. The funny thing is that like the way you pronounce a Sleden is just Sleden is just not a word. Unless it's a word in the fucking South for some reason because the Southern people in Germany are weird. Sorry my Southern brethren, but you have weird words for no reason. Sorry, sorry. So, this would just, like, us in German, we would just say Lass ich sliden, instead of Lass ich, Lass ich sliden. God, tongue twisting out here, man. So, the fact that he says it, Lass ich sliden, and instead of pronouncing it sliden, is funny to me. I don't know. Yeah, sounds like the South in most countries. <laughs> yeah, why is it that it's always the South? We don't use this where I'm from. Fair. Why is it always the South and countries, though? To use. Kind of like a CSGO weapon skin, maybe. <laughs> Who knows what the future has in store for the banana game. Either way, I think this is the end of my journey with the banana game. In fact, I'm so comfortable I'm just going to uninstall it from my PC. <laughs> now I can go and play a real free video game, which yeah. is also all about making money. I'm, of course, talking about Open TTD. Yep, it's free, it's great, and you can make money in it. What? And yes, the money does stay entirely within the video game world, but that's how I like it. Thanks for coming along and watching today's exploit video. If you want to see more wonderful Steam exploits, maybe YouTube exploits, or even just video game exploits, then why not consider subscribing? Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you in the next video. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye for now. Goodbye. I love his videos. I'm so happy that I got to watch them as react videos now. Uh, let's just copy it off of here. I'm actually so happy that I get to watch his videos as reaction videos now, that I get to watch it with you guys. It's so fun. It's fun watching videos with you guys.